Ovid SP, Advanced Ovid Search Overview. This tutorial takes approximately five minutes to view and runs automatically. The Advanced Ovid Search Mode provides searching by keyword, author, title, and journal. To search for a journal, for example, simply click on the Journal Radio button. Notice that you're prompted to enter the first few letters of a full journal name. Once you've entered the beginning of your journal's name, simply click on the search button. You'll be taken to the journal index display, where you'll be shown a list of journals spelled similarly to what you typed in. Once you've selected the journal or journals that you're interested in by clicking on their corresponding checkboxes, simply click on the Search for Selected Terms button and you'll be delivered a result set that's comprised of all references in your chosen database or databases that come from the journal or journals that you selected. To search for references by title, click on the Title radio button, and then enter a word or phrase to be searched in the title field, and finally, click on the Search button. This result set will contain all references in the database that contain your word or phrase as entered in the title search. To search by author, click on the Author radio button. Here you're instructed to enter the author's last name, a space, and the first initial if known. Upon clicking on the search button, you'll be taken to the author's index display. Here you'll be shown all author listings in this database that are similar to what you typed in. If more than one are relevant to your search, go ahead and check all relevant checkboxes. And then click on the Search for Selected Terms button. Your result set will consist of all articles in the database by the author or authors that you selected. Depending on which database you're in, you may have two options when searching for keywords in the Advanced Ovid Search Mode. If your selected database is indexed, such as Embase or Medline, then you will have the option to map term to subject heading. We'll run a couple of searches, one with mapping and one without, to demonstrate the difference. When map term to subject heading is unchecked, then we're simply running a keyword search across several fields within the database where we're most likely to find the word or phrase that we enter. Which fields will be searched in this situation? is described in each of the database's field guides. After entering the word or phrase, click on the search button, and your result set will be displayed below. Notice that with map term to subject heading unchecked, we ran what is considered a multi-purpose field search, in which title, original title, abstract, name of substance word, and subject heading word were searched in this database. Now let's run that same search using the same terms but this time we'll check the map term to subject heading checkbox. Instead of being brought directly to the result set, we come to this intermediate step called mapping display. Here we can either continue searching with our original term, or if that word doesn't match a specific word contained in the database's control vocabulary, we'll be given the option to select the term or terms that most closely match it. There are some further options as well, Explode and Focus. We'll talk about those in the database-specific courses. For now, I'll simply click on the Continue button. Here, we're again shown all of the subheadings that have been applied to this particular subject heading in this database. If you want all of the subheadings, simply click on the Include All Subheadings checkbox. Once you've selected your subheadings, click on the Continue button. At this point, your result set is displayed below. By searching using the Map Term to Subject Heading checkbox option, you are able to take full advantage of the indexing that's gone into this database. You are able to search using one or more control vocabulary terms, and you received only those results pertaining to the subheadings of that vocabulary term that you selected. This gave you maximum control of your result set and the confidence of knowing exactly how it was arrived at. This concludes the Advanced Ovid Search Mode Overview. For additional videos, please return to the Ovid SP Training Videos menu.